Yo, what's good YouTube? SSB Gokai here, and today guys, we are back with some more Dragon Ball Legends. Now, I have been quite busy with uh, PvP, which also helps with the Chrono Crystal grind, and you know, I'm, just, I'm having fun with it, but I'm also not. And the reason why I say I'm also not having fun with it is because of the people that lag the Switch in the game. Now, yeah, you know, there, you see that there's mostly, like, like wins on here and there's, like, one loss right here. I've been mostly winning every match I come across, okay? Now, I only did, like, two matches today. Uh, this one, it was a bit laggy. It was kind of like... I perfect form. Like, for some reason, this guy had a freaking Frieza, a Gogeta, and a hit on the same team. Like, I don't even know what they were trying to go for for this team. Like, I forgot, like, the rest of the, like, members they had, but they had, like, no units that boosted any of them. Like, really. Like, they had no units that did any of, like, anything for it. So, I did report this person for, because they did intentionally disconnect as soon as the wind stream came up i'm not even kidding they literally closed the game out and all you saw like all i could see was just freaking uh connection error like dude like really this person left at the end of the match when he lost like bro come on now but it was pretty laggy and he did not have a good team so I guess he was lag switching, or maybe it was just bad connection, he just got salty that he lost, or something like that, I don't know. But this person right here, I can say for a fact, was the hardest lag switcher that I've ever come across. I'm not even kidding, dude. Like, seriously. Like, he was going for, like, a Sun family team. Like, you know, I was handling the Gohan pretty well. And the Gohan wasn't really all that much of a problem until all of a sudden it got laggy. And you guys are probably going to think, oh, well, you're just salty that you lost. Yes, I'm salty that I lost. I'm salty that I lost because of freaking lag, okay? Like, the connection like the connection was fine in the beginning of the match, but it's kind of, it, it really is coincidental that as soon as I get the upper hand against this guy, it starts getting laggy. That's basically what lag switch is. It's people that just can't stand losing, and they have to fuck up their connection to just get an advantage. Because when you're having to deal with lag switch, it doesn't affect you if you're lag switching. No, it affects your opponent in a very drastic way, where it's literally going to make it into your favor like i really hate the fact that people sit here and lag switch dude if you're gonna play a game and you're gonna play like pvp and stuff like that if you're gonna do all that play it how it was meant to be played don't sit there and use lag switch just to get an advantage now, I did tweet out that I was, like, really sick and tired of people, like, lag switching all the time. I was, I was serious. I was done. I did not want to sit here and deal with lag switch. Like, dude, that's so annoying whenever I'm having to sit here and play a PvP match just to chill out and have fun, you know, do something while I wait for, uh, something else to come around. You know, stuff like that. And then all, you, all of a sudden you find a freaking lag switcher that is wanting to sit here and lag his ass off just so he can win. Dude, if you're going to play a match, don't sit there and try to get a free win. That's basically what you're trying to do when you're trying to lag switch. It's basically what you're trying to do is get a free win. That's literally what it is. It's just people that want to sit there and get a free win because they can't play it any other way. And it's sad. It really is. Like, it's pathetic. Like, really, if you're gonna play a game, play it how it's meant to be played. Like, don't sit there and lag switch just because you can't stand the fact that there's people better than you. Like, it really, like, yeah, the Gohan is Zenkai level 7. 
and honestly, I'm glad. I'm glad with how I performed in the beginning of the match, because I was doing really good against that Gohan. He was literally like half dead. He was like he was almost done. Then the lag picks up, and then that's when everything just goes completely the other direction. So, I, I just can't stand it, dude. I don't like people that sit there and lag switch just because they feel like if they have that advantage, they're good at the game. No, you're not. I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings, but you're not good at the game if you need lag switch to win a game. I'm sorry. That is, that's basically what it is. If you need lag switch to win, then it's just, it's pathetic, dude. You don't know. Unstable connection. I'm reporting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you get banned, I'm sorry, dude. But you shouldn't have lag switched. I understand you didn't want to lose, but that was not the way to go. That really wasn't the way to go, dude. But I've been busy with PvP a lot lately. For some reason, instead of going like back to like rank 30, like how it used to be, or if it is still that way, then you know how it should have been. But for some reason, I started back at rank one because I know I reached rank like rank 50. So I don't know why it's doing that, but I guess screw it. <laughs> I don't know why it does that, but I guess. You know, it's not re really going to matter, but as you guys can see, I pretty much got, <sighs> I had a fucking win streak going, dude, and it took a lag switcher to fucking ruin it, man. Oh, uh, that makes me so upset, dude. The fact that it took, that it takes lag switch just to ruin your day, dude. I hate it. I hate it so much. Ugh. But whatever. It's it's one loss for the day. Uh, I did report him for unstable connection because that's literally what it is. Because there's no way it can coincidentally lags whenever he's losing. So, like, bro. But anyways, I know I still gotta do my daily stuff and all that, but no, whatever. Now, as you guys already know, we are, we. Well, let me just go ahead and show you. We have a Zenkai uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku that was out, which... The, the Goku that's getting a Zenkai is literally the freaking Black Friday Goku from year one, dude. That's crazy. He finally gets his Zenkai Awakening. Oh, and they, uh... They brought this banner back. Um, don't... Don't... Don't waste your... Don't waste your crystals on it. Like, I don't even know if there's any sales going on right now. Probably not. Like, they usually save those for, like like a lot better banners all right so those sales have been there yeah those, those sales have been there so not really something i'm worried about at this point in time but as far as those banners go don't like i'm just telling you guys just don't like if y'all want to do dailies and stuff on that, y'all want to, like, get these units, because, you know, they do, in PvP, there is, like, equipment for these units for Rival Universe. So, not to mention... <laughs> you gotta deal with lag switches if you want to go grind for those equipment. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's... You gotta, you gotta deal with it <laughs> just, just to get those equipment. Like, it's sex of, like... Six sets of uh, the freaking six sets. Ugh. One set of like six just to have like one for a whole team. In case you have nothing but like rival universe tags on there. You know, stuff like that. But as far as this goes, don't summon on it. I am dead serious. And not to mention for the fact that like this, like this right here, you can tell. Just like look at the, like just, let's look at the units. Let's look at the units and see what they got. Trunks, the Cell, Gotenks, Kefla, the big, big cash grab right there that they had before the anniversary, which I'm glad I got her before it wind up getting me a little too deep into it. So, they also have the uh, 
the, the Sun Family Trio, you know, the, the Goku, oh, I did not mean to click on it, but okay. You know, the Goku, the Bardock, which is actually still pretty, really, like, it's, like, it's not pretty good, it's real good, like, it, that's still, like, a top, like, not top tier, but, like, it's, it's up there. It's, like, it's pretty much at least almost top tier. And we also have the Reddits, and, of course, it wouldn't be a cash grab if they wouldn't add these three units, which is Transforming Vegito, Broly and Chi-Li, and Android 21. And, you know, we're going to scroll down, you know, it's just all the older units, so it doesn't really matter. But, all in all, basically what I'm trying to tell you guys, as I said before, do not summon on this banner. It is not worth your Chrono Crystals. Save up for the Black Friday units. If you guys want to summon on the cooler banner, which has the new metal cooler and the new uh, Vegeta that's supposed to be like a dual, sort of dual unit with Goku, you you knock yourself off. It's, it's your Chrono Crystals, but I'm just saying it'd be really, really, really good if you guys just straight up save for the Black Friday banner because it's only like a few weeks away. It's only a few weeks away, guys, so I'm just saying, you like it would be really smart for you guys just to sit there and wait till Black Friday to spend your crystals. But anyways, guys, I don't want to sit here and take up too much time. I already took up like 10 minutes just talking about PvP and then talking about the banners, you know. We're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and do the next 10 battles on here. Uh, I'm just going to skip to like battle 15 for you guys to watch me do that. And then we're going to do the rest. That way it doesn't take too much time. And that way it's still like 20 minutes of footage that you guys are going to be watching here. So anyways, I'll see you guys in battle 15. Alright, now we're at battle 15, bro. Right, let's get into it. So we need a yellow unit that's super easy. But we're not going to use a yellow unit because I want to get a legendary finish off. So I'm going to use... Yeah, we'll just use a full team. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to be using LF Frieza. Our four-star LF Frieza. Nip, nip, nip. Nah, bro. We ain't doing this. Uh, we ain't going to record that shit. Nah, bro. Got that Time shit unlocked now. Time to dole out some edits. I'm getting this legendary thing. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. It's so disrespectful, dude. Just to sit there and use that green card into a legendary thing, dude. Like, it's, it's fucking disrespectful, man. I'm telling you it is. What splendid fireworks! Like, ah, uh, you think you're getting out of my LF? Nah, bro. You're staying in that shit. <laughs> I'm getting this legendary finish. I also did that in PvP, and bro, that guy race quit so hard. It's like, after, like right after I got him into it, and I went in to do my ultimate, bro, he freaking disconnected before I can even land it. Like, dude, that's fucking, so fucking stupid, dude. Oh my god. Anyways, let's move on, dude. It's just... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you guys want me to do PvP videos, um, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll uh, I'll do PvP videos. You know, it's, not, it's not nothing. Alright, um, what are the boost units? That Goku is actually a boost unit. What, bro? Like, when is this Goku? Like, oh wait, no, it might be in the freaking super pack actually. Right, I was surprised that that Goku is actually a boost unit.
Alright, sorry about that. I had to go check and see what the fuck was going on out there because I had no clue what the fuck was happening. Well, someone was arguing or some shit. There we go. They say ignorance is bliss. They say ignorance is bliss. Clumsy. Get out of my sight. I'll destroy this planet. Die. Clumsy. You know a life form. Too slow. Let's get down to business. So I had, I had to do that, like, correct mm, transformation right there, dude. That transformation for Cooler is still, like, really cool, dude. Like, y you can't say it's not cool, dude. Like, like it's literally, like, almost, it, it, it's literally a year old. Like, let's just face the facts. It's a year old, and it still looks like a really, really cool animation, dude. Just that transformation alone, dude. Okay, the game legit just crashed just now, so it kind of messed up the recording. I'm going to try to see if I can try to get that back, but let's not have that again. <laughs> let's not have that happen again. We don't need any more game crashing. Please. Alright, uh, so we're just going to use these three. Dude, imagine if they added a second Vanish Gauge, like, bro. People will just abuse that over and over again. Up. Oh. I will save a murdering you, oh, oh, oh. Hey, yo, cool, though. Can you not, though? Thank you. Take off. I don't need no transformation to beat your ass. What do you say? Fancy working for me? Nah, nah, bro, I'm good. <laughs> like, you fancy working for me? And I'm like, nah, B, I'm good. Come on, bro. I really want to see what they come out for, like, what they come out with on Black Friday. Like, like, what are they going to come out with? I'm sure they're going to add the Transforming Goku Black on there, obviously. They're going to have all the Goku Blacks on that banner. To, like, keep up with the theme of, like, Goku Black Friday, like I've been saying. You know, surely they'll add all the Goku Blacks on there. But I'm just saying, dude, like... Since we already got a Goku Black, like, before Black Friday, you know, I'm really curious of, like, what they're going to come out with. I won't die so easy. I don't like how people really thought that we were getting all the instant Goku on, uh, the second anniversary with Anki. I wouldn't complain with. But, 
you know, I was really looking forward to seeing the blue fusions, which we did, we did get one of them, but, you know, we didn't get both of them, which is, uh, unfortunate. But, as far as the blue fusions go, maybe we'll get a uh, Gogeta on Black Friday? If that's the case, then, you know, I wouldn't complain about that, but I kind of want to see an Ultra Instinct Goku come out for Black Friday, especially since they're buffing no up the Universal stop. Survival Saga episode tag. Like, I really want to see an Ultra Instinct Goku, like, finally come out. It doesn't have to be Master Ultra Instinct. People keep saying, oh, we gotta have a Master Ultra Instinct. No, we don't. We just need an Ultra Instinct Omen for, like, a legendary finish against uh, Kefla. Against, like, what Goku did in that fight. And they have the materials to pull it off. So, I have no doubt that they would actually be able to pull off that LF. And we already have, like, a tournament of power stage, so... <laughs> we don't really need to, like... Unless they want to add, like, a destroyed variant of the tournament of power... Uh, we don't really need another tournament of power stage. Alright, we're gonna use this, uh... We'll use this core. Alright, we're almost done, guys. And then we're gonna end the video. I think this is like... Mm, like, maybe... 22 minutes in? On, like, actual, like, footage I'm using for, uh, the video. I expect to be into something! Yeah! What? Yeah! Yeah! But yeah, if, if you guys want to like, if you guys want to like, say like, make predictions of your own of what you think will be coming out for Black Friday, uh, do let me know. And if you guys agree with me that you know we need a Universal Survival Saga team, you know, in the meta, let me know what you think should be like on the team. Like you know what should be like. Like, the go-to units for that team, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, obviously we have the Trio of Danger. We also have a Kefla. Kefla's, like, one of the best units in the game because she has a high melee damage. And not to mention, uh, I think it's her unique ability. Uh, she gets even more damage. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but... Obviously, people are going to put Kefla on the team, uh, unless they add, like, a different green unit to the team. But I really want to see, like, if they're adding, like, an Omen Ultra Instinct Goku to the team, like, to the game. Like, I really want to see it be a purple unit, just because it makes more sense to have that as, like, the LF unit against the Kefla. I know this sounds cheap. Yeah! I know this sounds cheap, but just call me Go the Hero. I don't want to finish with this ult. Do we wait for the ult? Yeah, we'll wait for the ult. Right, we finally got the ult ready. Um, can we not. Yo, can you... Die! Exactly what Freezer said. I'll show you true golden right, we're gonna go ahead and do this. This doesn't me. kill, Just I call die. bullshit. Be gone. Yeah, I'm about to say, if it doesn't kill, I'm calling bullshit right now. Does the power of my shot Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the video off. If you guys enjoyed and, you know, make sure to leave a like down below. Make sure to subscribe as well, so that way, um... Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification. Let me put that in like a one sentence. You know, that way you guys don't miss any more uh, <laughs> any more videos from this channel. And also, if you guys want to make your own predictions down below, like what I did from the uh, prediction video, if I post this video after that, you know, you can go ahead and leave your predictions down below if you guys want to. Um, you know, maybe we can start like a conversation, you know, stuff like that. You know, I really want to hear what you guys think, like, what we should have on Black Friday. 
because Black Friday is like literally where the deals are at. Like, you know, the anniversary is kind of the same thing, but you know, Black Friday is like a little better just because you know something's good, like something good's coming out on them. You know, aside from obviously the anniversary, but you know, we're going to exclude anniversary events from that because, you know, anniversary is bound to be like fire whatsoever. But anyways, I'm going to leave you guys at that. Uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. And yeah, peace.